Can y'all see black? Uh, not black, but you know how black show everything. All the lint and stuff that I'll be talking about, y'all. When y'all come on camera and I can see all that. Every little thing that black pick up. And I'll be like, ew, let me just take your jacket off. Ew, look how they got that jacket. Ew. Can y'all see all of it? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh-huh. I can see it, you know, just looking at myself. I know my little head being got lint on it, you know, like whatever. Not lint, but you know, it's material to pick up stuff. So, it's beautiful here. Even though the sun is not shining, it's not. Cold. I just have on my little sweat jacket, which I do have a, another sweater that I'm sitting on. Although you can see it right there. And um, thank God I don't have to have my mask on. Oh wow, that clothes. I was just ready to go over there. It's a little, look like a little consignment shop. But it says clothes. Clothing and accessories. Look at that little sofa in the window. That bench. Oh, wow. Gallery. This is my first time seeing this stuff down here. I'm actually paying it some attention. Got the electrical supply store. Uh, Performing Arts Collective Alliance. The First Amendment Tees. Uh, what they do over the years. Oh, okay, they do t-shirts and stuff. Printing and stuff. Okay. All right, you know, the gallery, local gallery. They look like they're closed. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is my first time actually stopping and paying attention to those buildings over the year. I'm downtown Erie. Instead of me calling for transportation to take me home, I'm going to go ahead and walk myself home because it is nice out here and I can um, easily make it home because I'm going downhill or either I'm on level ground as opposed to coming to the doctor's office and it's up. the blocks are uphill. You know, so like I said, the area that I'm in, I think at one point was the performing arts area that I just passed. So there's the post office that I live a couple blocks from. So that's where I drop the packages off when people make their purchases. Like I say, it's in walking distance from my apartment and, um, this is a theater here a modern magic and comedy club cocktails and conjuring teller mason april the 23rd and the 24th Whoever that is, I can look it up and find out who they are. Um, yeah. I need to um, it's take myself out from America's Got Talent comedian Teller Mason. Visit colorsmagic.com magician Tim Brunzel okay 
So, so this building is still open. Comedy club. Oh, yeah. This is right around the corner for me. I need to check myself out on a night date. I haven't been out to anything as such since I've been here in Erie, Pennsylvania. To anything, really. I haven't been on a ship on the river. I haven't even been. Yes, I've been down on the river, though. I was actually thinking about getting me a room down on the river at the hotel uh, for maybe one night just because I want to sit in a nice hot tub of water. I have a shower, which is very really good, the pressure. But it's nothing like a tub of hot water soaking. There's Domino's now hiring delivery drivers. I'm sure. Domino's. Do I want something from Domino's? Uh, what can I eat when I get in the house? There's so much stuff in the house. Since I'm right here, instead of ordering for delivery, I think I just need to eat what's in the house. Uh, do I want what's in the house? Let me think. Don't be afraid. What is that? Okay, Erie County Democratic Headquarters. Okay. Every time I come out, I learn more and more about, about my neighborhood. I think I did see that place over there. I think I did see that place over there when I first moved here. The Erie County Democratic Headquarters. Yeah. And this uh, voted Erie's best radio station. Okay, so here are the old radio stations down here. Well, that's one that's no longer open. Next to the window and glass place on the corner where the green writing is. That used to be a radio station, but now it's further down that way. There's a couple of them, and it's interesting. When I first moved here, you can just, like, um, stand outside and watch them on the radio. Like, like a storefront. You can look at the windows, everything is, like, wide open. And you can watch the different channels here in Erie, Pennsylvania. And you can see them working right here, right on the radio. That's interesting. It's not like, you know, being in Philadelphia. It's seeing WDAF. Yeah. <laughs> my oxygen back on. Yeah. So I'm running my mouth without my oxygen going on. Wonder why I'm going to be a <laughs> double clutching on the ear. <laughs> ah, girl, your girlfriend is funny. She's funny. So I'm on my way home. I just took take my time. Just left Domino's. Got my Domino's bag hanging out back there. And, um, I don't think I'm going to go into the New York market across the street. Oh, uh, maybe, I don't know. I did want another pair of shoes for my feet because it's the weather change. I don't have, I'm not going to say I don't have, but you know. I don't have things to switch up in because my gear is minimum. Still recovering from the loss of what I had. What is this here? Online ordering in store pickup. Keys Bazaar. What is this? 
Keys Bazaar. They have Afterpay. Online ordering in store pickup. Keys Bazaar. I gotta see what that is. Yeah. I gotta see what this place is. Look it up. See me? You see me? Y'all see me? Looking all cute. Gotta take some pictures. Some kind of way. I left my stand in the house. I usually sit my pictures on to take pictures. I can't want to take pictures. Now add me to our team of. Okay, they hiring PCH, HAS, RNs, LPNs. Get paid to care for your family member or friends. my face makeup today. I look peaceful. I'm not as tired as I was yesterday. I was exhausted. My body was hurting and everything. I'm going uh, to relax today too. I wish my patio was done. Yeah. So I have one more stop to make. I'm going to at this pharmacy here. And get my medication, my prescription, and head on home. I'm trying to decide if I want to go like in town, like three more, two more blocks down. Oh, there's just some stores down there. I haven't been in. Do I want to? It's still kind of early. Maybe I'll do that later because I haven't even eaten yet. I don't want to, you know, exhaust myself all at once. I go home and eat, and if I feel like coming back out, then I'll come back out. I wish those stores was in this block right here. <laughs> you look cute. Right, thank you. How you doing? All right. I wish those um, stores was in this block right here. Oh, that was nice. I told you people. It's the glory of the Lord, guys. The glory of the Lord. Maybe some handsome man. Oh, God. We don't even talk about handsome man. You know. I'm going to tell y'all the secret when I come back. But right now, I'm coming to this pharmacy. Whew. To get my medicine. And I will tell y'all in a minute about this experience I had. <laughs> But you gotta come back to hear it. <laughs> uh. Hey guys. So listen. Before I had a chance to show you guys what I purchased today. I forgot all about it <laughs> when I came in today. So a quick, quick, quick look at what I purchased today. Um, I bought... This one bra, I want to see how it wears and how it fit on me. Uh, this is from a little, um, you know, you know the Koreans, the mom parts, we have in the little variety stores with pocketbooks and everything in it. But the kitchen sink move over a little bit of things, they will put one in there. And so, yeah, it was, um, hmm. Mm, very inexpensive. Whew, I'm not going to see how well they hold up, hold up the boobies. Because normally for this price, I wouldn't buy, a, you know, a lift bar. Because you most likely not guaranteed to get the real lift. Because of the, you know, the material is not, you know, you get what you pay for. Put it like that. And if you can see... These were nice and cute and fluffy and comfortable. I didn't go in the store looking for anything like this. 
I was looking for something like maybe like a sneaker or you know a little you know something comfortable to throw on and cute you know just for every day and I saw these straight at the door they had multiple colors this is about one of the last pieces they had left that was um, in my size so I'm satisfied with that color um, they had a several um I just not I did not want pink not this year. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I normally always quick to grab a tape to fuchsia pink, but um, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it, okay? So, of course, you guys know I went to Domino's and got some wings and um, some bread. Um... Yeah, I think that's all. Oh, I purchased three white boards. Not white. No, they're a different color white. I'm a different color. But, um, boards that you use. I wonder if you can see it from here. That you boards, if you can see on top of that, uh, you know, that clothing. Never mind the matches. Y'all know I'm doing work in my apartment. But the storage thing over there, if you can see on top of it, I got the um, boards. I still have to take the exacto knife and cut them to size. You know, so I was figuring if I don't get rid of that because I think it's such an eyesore, did I put those boards up there and um, I can use that for it. Um, put some plants on the edges to hang down, you know. And make it look cute, even if I want to store some small things in the back, not really be heavy, you know, something that could support the weight of the boards, you know, on top of here. If I decide to keep that in the room, it's such an eyesore to me. So, but I have so many things and not a lot of space in, in my head over a hundred thousand times about how to organize everything. So, that was an idea that I came up with. Excuse me, and the reason why I grabbed the boards today, even if I don't use them, is because I was already at that particular store. And they're only a dollar fifty. I can always use them for a vision board down the line or whatever. So some of you might not know, my health insurance have an over-the-counter drugstore where you can purchase things from. So what I'm about to show you now, I'm gonna unbox some things that I got from over the counter. Most of it is medical stuff, med medical needs and things of that nature. You know, it's always good to stop. I, my mom, she never, uh, she stopped, restocked her, from, um, God, help me. Help me, Lord. Oh, sorry guys, I'm sleepy. You see that? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord, I'm going to cut that out. Anyway, okay, touch and DM. I got one. I think I got two of them, three of those. Touch and DM for cough. You know, you guys know I get sick or have gotten sick in the past. And uh, I'm just trying to have everything here to stay on top of it. So I got three of the touch and DMs. And all this stuff was... um. It comes with my insurance, so it wasn't free. My insurance pays for it. I have some methyl, menthol, menthol, titanium, menthol, latum. <laughs> Girl, listen, I have some of this. And this is a rub on and a soothing relief. And I probably would use this for under my nose. And uh, my nose just say constantly stay stuffed up. And I believe it have a whole lot to do with, you know, the machine that I'm on. So I got that for, you know, put under my nose so my nose can open up. This is what I'm so excited for. My screensaver. Not screensaver. Sunscreen. Sunscreen lotion. I got three of these. I should look with more, but I don't use that much lotion. This will last me for quite a bit, you know. Say something to other people that won't sell out, you know. By the time I use all this, I'm sure I can buy some more. Um, 
But yeah, this is the screen sunscreen lotion with the uh, P, I mean, SPF of 50. Yep, so I have three of these. I guess, you know, the ones, these ones, um, I think they're like $9 a bottle. And the other ones that I have, the copper tone or whatever, they're quite more expensive than these are, but I have that too. But, um, so I have some anti-reducers in case, you know, sometime I may run out my prescription of, um, or Meprazole. And they have to wait until Sunday for the open to see my doctor and get another prescription. Then they have to call it in. But I'm telling you, sometimes if I run out of medication on the weekend, honey, for a weekday to come, it's, it's bad. It's like a heart attack. So I have those on me keep around. In case of an emergency, you know, I don't have anything to take. I want to suffer until I get to my doctor. Another bottle of Tussin. So I have four bottles of Tussin. Okay, I have some him boy supplies to Tories. I don't know, I have four children, guys. Um, you know, them things flare up when they want to. They don't flare up as often as they used to. But honey, it's nothing like being prepared to sue that station. <laughs> that station identification. When it's acting up, I love me some um yeah. Yeah, handle that. It gives me instant gratification when my hand was acting up. And what is this? Okay. My um, change size heating pad, as you can see. Good for the back. The arms. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I may use this tonight. Yes, this is really nice. And it has the. Uh, Temperature, the timer, all that good stuff on it. You can set it up yourself. That's too big. And what I have here. Okay, and these are regular knee pads. These are knee elastic, elastic, elastic being knee braces. Yeah, lately, you know, my knees been acting up. The last one I bought was too. A little bit too big, so I just went on and got um, the next size down, but I got two instead of one, you know, because um, I could tell, honey child, when you put some dirty white clothes on, I could tell, I can just about tell if you put that on and it got dirty in the course of the day, or you put that dirt on in the morning. <laughs> I just have the eye for that, and I just, like, when I, when I wear white, I'm really, really 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 conscious of it so I can swap out that the minute it, you know if I'm out or whatever and something happens to when I have on I can swipe out real fast you know just always have a backup for those things and um yeah I guess that's it for my little unboxing now I'm sorry that I forgot to share with you guys earlier today you know so I am filming on my phone I got my phone out the shop you know, um, I was just really looking forward for this channel handling this business. So today, guys, I did do a separate camera. I, mean, I, I did do a separate episode. And that episode was, um, uh, it's called, um, My Lifestyle. My husband's, um, let me think. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. I can't think of, she's my lifestyle, I can't remember right now, so I'm not even gonna hold y'all up trying to remember it anyway, because I've been a doze off, think, forgetting that I'm trying to remember something and I'm actually falling asleep. Ah, I like the kind of lighting that this little section right here is giving me, you know. Oh, yeah, earlier today, separate, outside of this, I videoed a small portion Episode one, maybe I will three part storytelling. Um, you know, talking a little bit about my condition and you know how I got where I am and how I ended up on um, YouTube and my expectations of YouTube and what I'm willing to bring and all that stuff coming up. And 
I'm not going to say the next two videos, like, back to back, but because, you know, the regular videos have to be made in between, but they are coming in a fashion where, you know, you won't forget what you saw and won't lose the, um, the epitome of the experience, you know, as if I was to spread it out. And, you know, you'd be like, you know, so anywho, I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> I'm probably already sleepy and I'm starting to ramble on. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check the notifications so when the bell, uh, a photo go out, the bell can um, ring and you'll never miss a video. Um, comment, interact with me, engage with me. You know, you have to teach me, show me how I can service you, tell me what you like. Um, I love cooking. Um, I am domestic. If, you know, I have plenty of clips of me transforming my apartment. So if I can't get out a full video demonstrating something, you know, you will get to see clips and cutouts. And when it all comes together, it's going to be uniform. It's going to look cute. You know, I'm, I'm making this comfortable for me. You know, while I'm here, it's not an owner, it's a rental, so I'm be rental friendly, and that's it. You know, until the next time, be greasy. Hey guys, it's like 5 o'clock p.m. I'm outside of my complex, and business hours are over, the office is closed. I came down to get my mail. You like my new shoes? I didn't get a do. I didn't, I forgot all about an unboxing today. <laughs> so what else did I get? Um. Oh, this and my bra. It's not the needed bras. I just wanted to buy this one particular one that was cute. And the style was different okay. from what I wear. So I said, um, depending on how it fits and what type of wear I get out of it, I'll go back and get um, a couple more of them. So, and then the color was really, really bright. As much as I love bright colors, I don't go a little bit bright on the underclothes. I got the basic, okay, everybody has basic white, beige, and black. But um, even when I'm all on pretty bright pastel colors, I never really go a little bright on those colors either. I got the fancy under clothes in the dark color too. I don't know what that about, but this particular bra is really bright. And I don't know why I didn't buy my matching panties to go with it. Uh, I guess because my mom was just really wanting to see how the bra wears before I go back and buy more. But yeah, I'm outside of the apartment building. It's beautiful. I don't even have a jacket on, God. Now, you know it got to be nice out here. You like, you let me tell you something. Uh, yeah, nice out. Beautiful, beautiful. And I'm just sleepy as I wanna be. I wish my foot was finished. We gonna push those patios and stuff. Wait till mine get finished. Oh, boy, it'd be a nice to lay up in the lounge chill out there and relax. Yeah. I wish I had somebody take some pictures of me. I don't, I'm not going to be out here long. Because just as soon as it's nice, just like quick, I still get chilly. Yeah. Hi, how you doing? I still get chilly, like right in that breeze front right there. Oh, that's a chilly one. As long as the air is sitting still, I'm good. And that's the one start blowing the moving. <laughs> Thank you. How are you today? Okay, and you? Okay. Yep, good to see you. Right. Yep. 
Yes, yes, it is, right? Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Have a good All day. Right, you too. It sure is. <laughs> much as I be in that daggone apartment. <laughs> That's not a bad place either now. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. I need both my arms to give up this rent. I might talk to y'all later because I might hit this sword today. So I can't use, put all this stuff on my legs. I have to use my arms. Hey, guys. So listen. Before I had a chance to... Show you guys what I purchased today. I forgot all about it <laughs> when I came in today. So, a quick, quick, quick look at what I purchased today. Um, I bought this one bra. I want to see how it wears and how it fits on me. Uh, this is from a little, um... You know, you know how Koreans, the mom parts, we have in the little variety stores with pocketbooks and everything in it. But the kitchen sink move over a little bit of things, and they'll put one in there. And so, yeah, it was, um, hmm, very inexpensive. Whew, I'm not gonna see how well they hold up, hold up the boobies. Because normally for this price, I wouldn't buy, uh, you know, a lift bra because you most likely not guaranteed to get the real lift because of the, you know, the material is not, you know, you get what you pay for, put it like that. And if you can see, these were nice and cute and fluffy and comfortable. I didn't go in the store looking for anything like this. I was looking for something like maybe like a sneaker. Or, you know, a little, you know, something comfortable to throw on and cute, you know, just for every day. And I saw these straight at the door. They had multiple colors. This is about one of the last pairs they had left that was um, in my size. So I'm satisfied with that color. Um, they had a several, um, I just not, I did not want pink. Not this year. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I normally always quick to grab a take to fuchsia pink, but um, I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it, okay? So, of course, you guys know I went to Domino's and got some wings and um, some bread. Um, yeah, I think that's what. Oh, I purchased three white boards. Not white, you know, they're a different color, white, I mean, different color. But, um, boards that you use, I wonder if you can see it from here. That you boards, if you can see on top of that, uh, you know, that clothing, never mind the matches, y'all know I'm doing work in my apartment. But the storage thing over there, if you can see on top of it, I got the, um, boards. I still have to take the exacto knife and cut them to size, you know. So I was figuring if I don't get rid of that because I think it's such an eyesore, that I put those boards up there and um, I can use that for um, put some plants on the edges to hang down, you know, and make it look cute. Even if I want to store some small things in the back, not really be heavy. You know, something that could support the weight of the boards, you know, on top of here. If I decide to keep that in the room, it's such an eyesore to me. So, but I have so many things and not a lot of space in, in my head. Over a hundred thousand times about how to organize everything. So that was an idea that I came up with. Excuse me. And the reason why I grabbed the boards today, even if I don't use them, is because I was already at that particular store. And they're only a dollar fifty. I can always use them for a vision board down the line or whatever. So, some of you might not know, my health insurance have an over-the-counter drugstore where you can purchase things from. So, what I'm about to show you now, I'm going to unbox some things that I got from over-the-counter. Most of it is medical stuff, med medical needs and things of that nature. You know, it's always good to stop. I, my mom, she never, uh, she stopped, restocked her, from, um, God help me. 
tell me what. Oh, sorry guys, I'm sleepy. You see that? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna cut that out. Anyway, okay, touching DM. I got one. I think I got two of them, three of those. Touching DM for coughs. You know, you guys know I get sick or have gotten sick in the past. And uh, I'm just trying to have everything here to stay on top of it. So I got three of the touching DMs. And all this stuff was, um, it comes with my insurance, so it wasn't free. My insurance pays for it. I have some methyl, menthol, menthol, tatum, menthol, latum. Mm -hmm. Girl, listen, I have some of this. And this is a rub on and a soothing relief. And I probably would use this for under my nose. And uh, my nose just say constantly stay stuffed up. And I believe it have a whole lot to do with, you know, the machine that I'm on. So I got that for, you know, put under my nose so my nose can open up. This is what I'm so excited for. My screen saver. Not screen saver. Sunscreen. Sunscreen lotion. I got three of these. I should look with more, but I don't use that much lotion. This will last me for quite a bit, you know. Say something to other people that won't sell out, you know. By the time I use all this, I'm sure I can buy some more. Um, yeah, this is the screen sunscreen lotion with the uh, P, I mean, SPF of 50. Yep, so I have three of these. I guess, you know, the ones, these ones, um, I think they like $9 a bottle, and the other ones that I have, the copper stone or whatever, they're quite more expensive than these are, but I have that too, but, um, so I have some anti-reducers in case, you know, sometime I may run out my prescription of, um, or Meprazole. And have to wait until a Sunday for the open to see my doctor and get another prescription. Then have to call it in. But I'm telling you, sometimes if I run out of medication on the weekend, honey, for a weekday to come is is bad. It's like a heart attack. So I have those on. We keep around in case of an emergency. You know, I don't have anything to take. I want to suffer until I get to my doctor. Another bottle of testing. So I have four bottles of testing. Okay, I have some him boy supplies and stories. I don't know, I have four children, guys. Um, you know, them things flare up when they want to. They don't flare up as often as they used to. But honey, it's nothing like being prepared to soothe that station. <laughs> that station identification. When it's acting up, I love me some, um, yeah. Yeah, handle that. It gives me instant gratification when my hand was acting up. And what is this? Okay. My um, king size heating pad, as you can see. Good for the back. The arms. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I may use this tonight. Yes, this is really nice. And it has the. Uh, Temperature, the timer, all that good stuff on it. You can set it up yourself. That's too big. And what I have here. Okay, and these are regular knee pads. These are knee elastic, elastic, elastic being knee braces. Yeah, lately, you know, my knees been acting up. The last ones I bought was too. A little bit too big, so I just went on and got um, the next size down, but I got two instead of one, you know, because um, I could tell, honey child, when you put some dirty white clothes on, I can tell, I can just about tell if you put that on and it got dirty in the course of the day, 
Well, you put that dirt on in the morning. <laughs> I just had the eye for that. And I just, like, when I, when I wear white, I'm really, 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 really conscious of it. So I can swap out that the minute it, you know, if I'm out or whatever, if something happens to when I have on, I can swipe out real fast. You know, just always have a backup for those things. And, um, yeah, I guess that's it for my little unboxing i'm sorry that i forgot to share with you guys earlier today you know so i am filming on my phone i got my phone out the shop you know um i'm just really looking forward for this channel handling this business so today guys i did do a separate camera i mean i, I did do a separate episode and that episode was um uh, it's called um my life uh, my husband, uh, let me think, mm. Mm -mm -mm. I can't think, she's my lifestyle, I can't remember right now, so I'm not even going to hold y'all up trying to remember it, anyway, because I've been a doze off, think, forgetting that I'm trying to remember something and I'm actually falling asleep. Ah, I like the kind of lighting that this little section right here is giving me. You know, oh, yeah, earlier today, separate, outside of this, I videoed a small portion, episode one, maybe I was a three-part storytelling, um, you know, talking a little bit about my condition and, you know, how I got where I am and how I ended up on, um, YouTube and my expectations of YouTube and what I'm willing to bring and all that stuff coming up and I'm not going to say the next two videos like back to back but because you know the regular videos have to be made in between but they are coming in a fashion where you know you won't forget what you saw and won't lose the um the epitome of the experience you know as if i was to spread it out and you know you'd be like you know so anywho i'm getting sleepy <laughs> i'm probably already sleepy and i'm starting to ramble on so don't forget to like comment subscribe and share check the notifications so when the bell uh a photo go out the bell can um ring and you never miss a video um comment, interact with me, engage with me, you know, you have to teach me, show me how I can service you, tell me what you like, um, I love cooking, um, I am domestic, if, you know, I have plenty of clips of me transforming my apartment, so if I can't get out a full video demonstrating something, you know, you will get to see clips and cutouts and when it all come together, it's going to be uniform, it's going to look cute. You know, I'm, I'm making this comfortable for me. You know, while I'm here, it's not an owner, it's a rental. So I'm being rental friendly. And that's it. You know, until the next time, be greasy. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later from the laundromat. And I'm still tired. Of course, I didn't get any sleep, and I probably won't. I'm just going to slay around today. Um, I have so much. I've come a long way. I've come a long way. So here's the surprise. I'm making my living room into my bedroom. That's the surprise I was keeping from you guys. And I tried to hold on to it. was completely finished, but then how will I show you guys the process? So, yeah, so I finally got the bedroom furniture in the living room, which I did all by myself. Um, ladies, it's very easy. You just buy yourself of those things here. Um, and you put them under your furniture, and you take your time and push. Push. I suggest that you push and not pull. Because you can hurt yourself poor still with thumbs um, on the furniture. Um, thank God the headboard wasn't heavy. The only concern I had about sliding my mattress across the floor is I didn't want the mattress covers to get dirty. 
but fortunately they didn't. You know, like, hey, I mean, like the floors haven't been mopped, but I'm not sure they got dust on them, but like, I almost thought they were gonna get really dirty because like my place been like this for a couple of weeks now and the floors have not been mopped. But that was the only concern that I had of messing up the mattress cover. And if you can see, they still in good shape. They come from the railing. They came from the railing, so it's not dirty. But yeah. Um, so, and here's the rest of the stuff from the living room. So, um, my plan is to make this into a studio. But I have this extra mattress. I have another set of frames. And I want if my, if my family come, where would they sleep? So my initial plans was to make this into a studio. But what I think I'm just gonna have to do is make this into another bedroom, a visitor room studio. Put this other because I don't look this mattress is really really good. I just you know it's a good mattress. Um, I could sell it, but, you know, I could give it away to Salvation Army or whatever. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and make this into a second bedroom. <sighs> God, you know, it's going to all work itself out in the end. So I'm going to have to um, move the bed down some. I'm going to move the bed down some. This dresser is going on the long wall here. That's going to stay there. Because once I make some space here, this is going to be for my kitchen table. This space here is going to be my um, kitchen space here. That's part going to be the bedroom. And I got this um, idea from another a quadriplegic. He's this other handicapped guy off of YouTube. And he had his apartment set up really nice. Same way, he had his kitchen. His kitchen was much longer than mine, though. He had a long kitchen. And then he had his bedroom. And then on the side, he had his, his second bedroom. I mean, yeah, he had his living room that he made into the bedroom. Then his bedroom, he had his studio. And then his bathroom. And that gave me an idea, right? So... I didn't run with the idea until I watched another young lady um, giving her apartment tour, and she said, uh, "Take a look, take a look, because the next time you see my apartment, it won't be looking like this." She said, "I'm going to make my living room into my bedroom." So, like when she said that, I ran with that. I said, "You know, I'm gonna do the same thing." I'm telling you, I felt like. When I slept out here last night, I felt like just so open, a big difference. The space, it felt like wider. I slept with the sliding doors open because it was like really nice last night. Oh, so I'm really excited about that, like sleeping in here during nighttime with the door open and getting a night breeze. It, it was a different, it was a total different sleeping experience last night. So yeah, for the most part, it's coming together. Still got some things I'm ordering and waiting to order. It is coming together. Thank God that the heavy part is coming to the end. And then the, actually once I get everything stationed and then the bot is just coming together. So I'm, I'm now I have to focus on the the floor, you know, the decor, the, the rugs, you know, oh my goodness, it's coming together. And so, yeah, right now, I'm just going to lay around all day long. I'm not going to do anything heavy. Uh, of course, I'm not type of person in my own personality. It's really hard to do nothing in the course of the day. So, I did do a load of clothes. I'm going to fold those up. And, you know, when they get later on in the day, close to the evening, if I probably lay around and rest all day, I probably could find some other little things I can organize around here. The guy that's going to finish painting that wall for me, or finish painting the patio, and going to finish a little, supposedly, come past here today and get a, um, get an estimate of how much I have to pay him. Because I still have contract, more contract paper to lay down. You know, just 
All right now, we're going to put some cheese in the oven and have lunch. Good morning, residents. Uh, just a reminder again, there's going to be a tenant council meeting at 4 o'clock in the community room. Um, we hope all residents attend. Again, there's going to be a tenant council meeting at 4 o'clock in the community room today. Thank you. You're welcome. Did y'all see that? Don't judge me. <laughs> Don't judge me, guys. I'm telling you, I'm so exhausted. I'm so exhausted. I'm just doing a lot. <laughs> I remember exactly when I put that in there two nights ago. <laughs> Don't judge me. Um, So, I need my rack for the cheese. I think the rack is down there. Oh, which, let me see. I probably not even going to worry about it because it's under all that stuff. I'm going to see how this broccoli cheese turn out. Just so I have a taste for it. I have some romaine, some shrimps in there. I, I really need to organize the refrigerator. Maybe later on today I'll get to that because I really need to put some things away in the freezer. You know, so it won't go bad. So maybe I'll do that sometime today if I get rested up. But, um, definitely need to get some of this broccoli in me. I haven't been drinking no smoothies, guys. So that means I haven't been getting the protein and the greens in me. <sighs> guys, 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 I need, I need somebody to just hold my hand sometimes. Dude. Just coach me through everything. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, right, right, right. Everything is down there. I'm going to put another piece of lunar foil down and just sit it on that because I can't get to the rack and stuff. And the purpose of all this stuff, I believe, I do want to raise this up one. Oh, I can't get the door open because of this. Oh, I do. So much stuff. I want to raise that rack up one. If I can open, open the door some more. Them. So I have to come grab one because I couldn't, can't get into the cabin with the other ones. All oh, my legs and stuff are so tired, guys. My body is so sore. I just want to raise this up one because I put it down low the other day to cook something. And I don't want the bottom of that cheese to be... Too close to that flame down the bottom, so I put that there. And put the cheese here. There you go. And of course, I should have waited until the oven beeps. That means it would have been hot enough, but I'm not any type of space be sitting around waiting for political moves or you know follow by the woo rules <sighs> and my little trash bag can't get you the big trash can over there so that's a little trash bag to improvise for now <sighs> alright guys 
Hmm. My refrigerator, you can come along with me. I'm gonna organize the refrigerator later on today. Yeah, so. The girl will not live with a label attached to her. She's just simply not gonna be called and labeled to be handicapped. No, I'm not. I'm just not. Okay, guys, let's see what the um cheese look like. Um, I changed the off a few minutes ago. <clears throat> so I can do the residual residual cooking while the oven was off and still hot because you know to me electric stoves are more potent and powerful I guess um cooks cooks um better uh, I'm not gonna say better no uh, what's the word it definitely cooks differently um than a gas stove and it requires experience to know how to use an electric stove so you won't mess your food up, burn it or whatever because it's more intense, the heat tense uh, uh, you know, help me with the words Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> it's more intense, okay. So I cut this off at um three fifty in the oven. I turned it down to two fifty and let it sit in the oven because it's still cooked with the residual heat as the oven cools off and that's one of the differences, especially on the top of the stove. When you, I'm trying not to cut too hard because I like to use these little pans under it to warm stuff up in my oven. So I don't want to poke no hole in the pan under it. But yeah, when you turn the gas stove off, the gas cuts off and the food stop cooking much quicker than if you turn an electric stove off. It shuts off, but because of the grill, this thing here, that takes more time to cool down than a gas, a gas stove. So, it'll still be cooking more intensely than the word on um electric a gas stove so i turned that off not too long ago and we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out So once the dish is off, and you know what, guys? I'm not gonna apologize for what's in my sink. I watch some of these videos, and some of these uh, women be apologizing for the most ridiculous stuff. Like, why would I have to apologize because I asked, uh, this is in my sink? In the middle of the day. This is real living, like. And I don't have to say, uh, oh, oh, excuse my apartment. And I'm not comparing myself in the condescending way. No, by no means necessary. I'm just trying to make a point to the women who do that. You know. Fine. I mean, it's okay. You, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. You know, yes, this is social media, but we are documenting our life. You know, 
And in no one in the real world, it just seemed really superficial when everything has been so perfect when you film. You, you understand what I'm saying? Like, that's not realistic. So why I apologize? Because you got kids. Oh, I apologize. You can hear my kids in the background. Well, your followers know you have children. And if you have someone following you who have a low tolerance for children and everything, you don't have to apologize. They just go ahead and, um, I'm stressing to get a special, y'all. You don't have to apologize. They just go ahead and, um, find another channel to follow. You know? But that's a part of self loathing I don't want to get into all of my skills, my knowledge, my education, and stuff because I'm not a therapist and a counselor on, online. Um, but I can identify and, um, you know, where that behavior comes from, you know. Relax. It's okay. Have fun in filming. You know, my apartment is in a disarray, and I'm telling you, as I post the videos, you guys may look at it it's like it's the next day. Garlic powder, guys, on my um, broccoli. My broccoli quiche. It may look like the next day or whatever. But trust me. I'm having... Well, last week, I, I basically took a whole week before I actually did something the next time I filmed. And now, it's still like... When I feel like it, when I will, because upgrading my apartment, not not so much upgrading it, we uh, decoring whatever I'm doing to it, um, is a project that I choose to do, crush red peppers, and I want it to be fun, you know. So when I find myself getting overwhelmed and it's just too much to handle, you know, fall back. And easy budget, like I'm not in a race, you know. This is something I choose to do, and I want it to be a fun experience. I don't want to get overwhelmed and start uh, looking at, oh, you hear about this? Because this is how the enemy attacks me, because I'm in a whole another city, away from my family and friends, and my enemy. Uh, well, the enemy will, I don't have it. <laughs> the enemy is texting me like, you know, want me to feel sorry for myself because, you know, I don't have my family around. And, oh, you have two grown men. Why you have to pay another man to move your furniture? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, shut up. You know, shut up. So it's just all <laughs> about, you know, just knowing who you are, knowing what causes you to, you know, uh, take, take things too seriously and kind of like do away with yourself. Learn how to laugh at yourself. Trust me, I haven't mastered anything. I am still, because sometimes I'm like, I can get off of this phone right now with all the things I'm sharing with you guys and do the total opposite. <laughs> Listen, when you try to make logic and make sense out of life, honey, you will lose your mind. You know, so listen. That is broccoli quiche with my toppings on it. And you can definitely season yours accordingly. Look, <laughs> I have my knee brace on it today. Season yours accordingly to the way you like it. And like I said, I got this thing right there from Amazon. So when I want to eat against my bed. But I'm not going to use it today. I don't feel like moving all that. Because I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so I don't feel like moving all that stuff. You know to eat. I don't. <laughs> so we're wearing like I'm wearing Uggs and I'm wearing a dress. Happy Saturday. Oh, so God, I'm tired. Uh, I don't know. Like, guys, just just coming along. Ooh. 
coming along. Saturday morning platypus. Iced tea. This was a salmon cake. <laughs> Fresh salmon. I made it into a cake and crushed it all up. As I was digging in it. Spinach and eggs. Not succulent. So guys, I switched room. I made the living room, okay. my bedroom, Fantastic. This is cute. and this is my kitchen, my table part for my kitchen. I'm not finished um, putting everything together. I'm still not finished the walls. I'm just doing a little bit at a time. It's just for me. Still have to do this wall here. Behind me. And that one there, I'm gonna make it to my studio slash just bedroom. Enjoy your Saturday.